Good morning, guys. I thought I'd take a break today, coming back after Labor Day weekend, to discuss why having a personal brand is such an important component of your marketing platform and what that really means today. So personal branding is something that I feel like gets thrown around a lot, um, not always very well understood by everyone. So it's not just throwing up a bunch of selfies on your Instagram feed. Um, so what does that really mean? Why is a personal brand so important? And when you think about what a brand is actually supposed to accomplish, it's really looking at your message to your audience and what kind of value do you offer? So when you're looking at yourself as a person, how do you brand yourself? What does that mean? Does that mean that, gosh, I'm such a great, you know, Wizzy wig maker, or gosh, I'm such a great baker, or gosh, I'm just a really good friend, or I'm a great innovator. Um, we hear a lot of those innovate, ideate kind of words that get thrown around a lot on resumes, and for a lot of people, it even is their resume. And they think about their personal brand as being that resume or CV kind of template. And I would argue that your personal brand should define your resume, but that your resume should not define your brand. So your brand is really based upon your value proposition to your audience, your intended audience. And you need to be a little bit broad in that. So if you're looking at defining yourself as being an employee, like in a job search, you do need to have a personal brand. And that is going to be an important component of your job search in differentiating yourself in the marketplace from other employees, that's great. It's necessary and um, obviously you can see how that would matter to a hiring uh, manager, right? As to whether or not they're gonna be able to see something valuable and special and unique about one employee versus the other. However, if you're looking at branching out of that and starting to build up kind of um, an influencer status, we see that a lot on LinkedIn. We see that with, um, you know, all the way up to amazing people like Ramit Sethi and Neil Patel and Seth Godin, right? Gary Vaynerchuk. A lot of people like to, to reference him and, and kind of follow after him today or in the female category. A lot of people are really referencing Marie Forleo. And all of those people are amazing. They've all done a fantastic job at creating a personal brand, right? Because it's not just their names that carry weight and meaning, but it's also an idea behind them and some sort of value proposition, more especially it's a feeling that you're really relating to more often than not with what they've created. So when you're looking at someone like that and you're looking at creating a personal brand, one, it's not gonna happen overnight, guys. It's not just like, I've created my social media channels and now it's gonna be done because I've posted some cute selfies and life is great and I've got some followers. Um, two, are you really defining your value for your audience? So let's think about that. What does your value need to be? Who are you talking to? What kinds of things do you wanna define? Um, what are you offering as an individual? And so I would say that you need to really start and end with that value proposition. So be looking to your intended audience, be looking to your ultimate goal, right? So whether that's, you know, five months out or five years out, and then start creating benchmarks around that and start looking at what do you have to offer as a person within that category? You know, are you a subject matter expert or an SME, you know, as we like to call that in a specific area? Is there some sort of valuable insight that you can offer rather than just regurgitating information? Is there something that you are particularly amazing at that you can own, that you can really stand in as a person and push out into the world to offer value to someone somewhere? And three would be a cause. Uh, so is there a personal cause that you really stand behind, that you're very passionate about, something that you would really love to dedicate your time and energy and who you are as a person behind and what does that mean and why would anyone relate to that? So I would say that creating a brand really begins and ends from that process of looking at who am I, what do I have to offer, and what does that mean to anyone else? You know, and if it doesn't really mean anything to anyone else or I'm not taking the time to assess 
what does that offer for someone else, then I would say that you're going about it for the wrong reason. You can absolutely build a brand for selfish purposes, but you're not going to get much of a following if all you're doing is talking about how great you are. You're going to have a band of one. So I'd like you to start thinking about what is your value proposition, what do you have to offer, and then in the next couple of days here, we can start talking about how to start building that up and building a brand around the idea of your value proposition. Have a great day, guys.